Hey there guys, today we are talking about Sergio Garcia's lag. So guys, today we're talking about the Masters champion Sergio Garcia. Now one of the most talked about things in his game is not just his ball striking, everyone says he compresses the ball so beautifully, hits it amazing, because it's a long, long way for a relatively short guy, but it's his lag in his golf swing, okay? So there's two things to be aware of in that lag. Number one is how does Sergio get that lag? And secondly, just be aware of the slight misconception when you're looking at it of how you are, you know, seeing that lag produced. So first off, well, how does Sergio get that lag so amazing in his swing? Well, what he does is, he has a very wide back swing, okay? Which means he sets the club really late. So he doesn't set the club fully until that top of the back swing right here. Okay, this is actually kind of known then as float loading. What he's doing is, gravity is still setting that club head. And as he then starts down, it creates all this lag, okay? So dynamically in the movement, he's still setting that club up here as he starts down. So that angle is created. Now, this is something I know about because it's a, something I do in my game, okay? This isn't something I've consciously done. It's something I did from being very young. I actually don't think it's the most efficient way for everybody to play. It is a great way to get lag, but if you don't already do it, don't start putting it in your game because they're going to bring in massive timing elements into your game. If you've not already had it naturally, you won't know how to release the golf club at the bottom based off that move. Because if you've not learned how to release the club with that movement, trying to put it in is going to lead to massive inconsistencies. Okay, But back to Sergio, what he then obviously does, he gets it quite wide here, he doesn't get 90 degrees set halfway back. It's still setting at the top and then as he starts down, a lower body starting, this creates a huge lag, a huge loading in the golf club, and at the bottom, he then lets that release. And because he is releasing that lag so late, common statement or statement I've heard over the years has been, whoever gets to the ball the latest is the greatest, hence the reason he's one of the greatest ball strikers out there, because the club gets to the ball so late. But if you've, like I say, if you've not learned how to release that lag and you want to use your hands, Good luck with that one because it's not something I would suggest you want to put in your game. It's really difficult. Second one, just to be aware of, is from the front view here. As I shallow the club and add lag, it looks even more lag has been created. But bear in mind that all that's happening is the club is simply dropping backwards and shallowing in this direction whilst moving inwards. Now, if you only drop the club backwards, the angle will look greater, but we know for a fact that Sergio is increasing that wrist angle because at the top, he's only just at 90 degrees, and at halfway down, he's way more than that, and that's been measured on 3D systems to prove that. So, for you guys, here's how he's creating it. Gets it wide, lets it load late, while the lower body starts down, which then sees the club still setting down, which while the handle starts down, as you can see, that puts that energy into the shaft, okay? Not something I'd recommend you wanna do unless you already do it, but that's a great way to get power, get lag in your golf swing. Thanks for watching that video, guys. Hopefully there's a couple of points in there that you can take out to help your game. If there's any videos you'd like to see me do going forwards, please comment below. We read all the comments. Let us know what you'd like to see. We obviously make all the content for you guys. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so and speak with you again very soon.